גיא בן אהרון, שלום. שלום קלצ'ר בלס. וולקאם. תודה, תודה. גיא, אנחנו עכשיו פה בג'אפה, מדברים על אתכם, כי אתם עושים משהו מאוד מיוחד. אתם, למי שאנחנו לא יודעים עדיין, הפונדר והארטיסטי דירקטור של הישראלי סטייג' בוסטון. ואנחנו מאוד מיוחדים על זה. So, Guy, will you be kind enough to tell us a bit about it? Of course. Uh, Israeli Stage was founded in November of 2010 uh, as a company that is dedicated to bringing the works of Israeli theater practitioners to American audiences. Uh, our mission is to explore and share the diversity and vitality of Israeli culture through theater. So what that means is that we bring Israeli plays in translation in English, and we do them with American actors, American directors for American audiences, uh, which makes us quite a unique company. In fact, the only company in the world that is dedicated to Israeli theater outside of Israel. Fantastic. And how is it uh, going? Is it going well? It's going wonderfully. Uh, since our first season, we've done 11 plays so far. Wow. Eight different playwrights. Uh, including American premieres and also a world premiere of an adaptation of David Grossman's To the End of the Land, Isha Borachat Mipsora. A wonderful book. A wonderful book, uh, which was commissioned by Harvard University. So we've done quite well, and uh, we've been thankful to the press for all the wonderful coverage we've been getting. Including the Israeli one recently. Including the Israeli profile in Haaretz. Yes. Congratulations. And, uh, Mazal Tov. Thank you. Before that, the Boston Globe. Ah, also and important. Also wonderful. And uh, yeah, and now we're going into our fourth season. So it looks like we're continuing to live. And it's strange as a founder to see your baby start crawling and, and now maybe even walking. So. Spoken like a true father. <laughs> uh, Guy, I wanted to ask you, what is your motivation? My motivation started uh, when I first came back to the States. I took a year off between my high school and college. I went to college at Emerson, and beforehand I did a year abroad where I taught English in Spain, in Madrid. That was the first time I spent uh, a longer amount of time uh, in a non-predominantly Jewish community. Boston is quite Jewish, as you might know, uh, especially Brookline, that is now known as Baruch Line. <laughs> and, uh, and so when I got to Madrid, I realized that a lot of people don't know uh, the other side of Israel. So they see Israel through the news, they see Israel in politics, but they don't see Israel as a cultural hub, which it is. It's incredible how much culture is produced here. So I wanted to find a way to share that with uh, audiences in the United States. It's also a way for me to bring my home here there to my new home. Sounds uh, to me like a beautiful and very important cultural bridge. That's what I try and do. <laughs> And what is the goal? Is the goal to uh, motivate uh, theaters in Boston or in the United States to do more than the reading of the play, to take it yeah. fully? Uh, our vision is that American theater companies will embrace the works of Israeli uh, playwrights and will start doing full productions of them. So it will be outside of Jewish community type theaters, but rather in the big established theaters. There's no reason that Every season would feature one. Oh. We are in Jaffa. We are in Jaffa. And, and this is a cultural bridge too. This is another cultural bridge. Line of six. We will make, uh, we will take a stop. <laughs> 